And you know, here he says, watch, now be observant, he says. Look at yourself, where are you at tonight? Where do you stand? As he says, be watchful and straighten the things which remain in you that are ready to die, for I have not found thy works perfect before God. Now, verse 3, Remember therefore how thou hast received and heard and hold fast and repent. Now, notice you're not ignorant of the fact you have heard about Jesus Christ. It's not that you're ignorant. Like, you know, it's not like you spend the, you know, all of your life in the jungles of Africa and nobody has brought the gospel to you. He says, you know because you have heard. What are you going to do about it? What is your reaction to the letter as he writes here? He says, look, what are you going to do? Remember, therefore. What does the word remember mean? He says, go back and make a full examination of your life and take an inventory of your life and see where you're at right now. Think about that in your own life. Take an inventory of your life. Examine yourself. Prove yourself whether you're in the faith or not, Paul said. Is my love for Jesus Christ greater this week than it was last week? Or do I find myself kind of sliding and kind of cold? And you see, He wants us to examine our hearts so that we can come to Him and say, Look, Lord, I don't have a desire to read. I don't have a desire to pray. I don't have a desire for You. But Lord, I come to You with boldness and I come to You in truth and I repent and I tell You that You need to create those desires in my life. And you know what He'll do? He'll come back and He'll create those desires. But He wants you to be truthful when you come to Him. He wants you to know your position. He wants to know where you're laying at, where you're sitting at, and what your position is and your priorities. So he says, come on, let's go back. Remember, therefore, how you have received and you have heard, and you hold fast and repent. Now notice why he says this, verse 3. If therefore thou shalt not watch. Now, if you don't want to pay attention, you say, ah, oh, the Lord is not going to come. I'm going to do my thing. Who cares what God says? If you therefore will not watch, then... I will come on you like a thief, and thou shalt not know what hour I will come upon you. Notice, I'm going to come when you least expect it. I'm going to surprise you. 